certainly a lot of you know issues came up with that, and so the board felt that it was time for administration to take a look at all of those issues and then present to the board a plan for going forward. People understanding first whether they're in a district or not in a district. Second, what they can expect from us under you know which conditions if they're in the district or outside the district, and then what their options are. They're coming out of the building very shallow, two, three feet deep. We'll go right over to the sidewalk where all the interlocking eyes are on that sidewalk. We can lift those out of there, do any trenching that we need to hook up to the city of Prescott, put the sidewalk back, and you won't even hardly notice that we were there. He's been our captain on the ice. He's a veteran player. He's a great player, one of the top scoring defensemen in the league. And then off the ice, he's been seen around a lot of places, going all the way back to the summer before the season even began. The language for it that's presented annually to the CHL player, best exemplifying strong leadership qualities on and off the ice, and significant contributions in the community. And that is something that Tyler Butler has done really for each of the two years he's been with us, but especially this year. Tyler Butler, he was one of the hardest shooters in the league, came in third overall. Jesse Parent, third hardest body checker. And then the Sundogs for their game notes, host hotel for teams, the city of Prescott Valley, were all recognized. 